Hi guys, welcome to the Max 3D Design. And today we are going to make uh, NFT collection with uh, up to unlimited variations of your pictures. So I've created already one collection with 2000 pictures. They all different, none of them is repeating. And it took me around one day to set up the proper collection. So I'm gonna uh, speak a little bit more faster and fast forward uh, without any small details. Uh, so for this, you will need Daz Studio, you will need Blender, and you will need this randomizer, FZ Randomizer 3. I will put all the links in description. This is plugin for Blender. I will not discuss how to upload pictures on OpenSea because this is completely different theme, not related to 3D modeling and so on. So let's get started. So you will have to create a basic 3D model in the studio, just like a figure like this. Then you will have to add dress, hair, some jewelry. Uh, you can create some other props. For example, I renamed them here, but don't bother to rename it here. You will better rename in the actual blender. That's the props. Let's say we have ring, bracelets, uh, red dress. So if I will switch off all these dresses, this is the red dress and so on. Yeah. So we will have all of them on and pretty much we are going to select everything. I hold shift. Yeah, we're going to select everything what we've created and we are going to export. So I've already exported everything, but I will just show you which settings have to be here. So that's what you should have in your DAS studio. That's the properties should be checked in. Then you press accept, it will start exporting and pretty much we are finished with DAS Studio. Uh, you can save your project and so on. So set up the maybe pose you'd like some some different pose. Maybe she will hold something. Maybe she will hold uh, like a crystal, like I make crystal in Fusion 360, then import in DAS 3D Studio, kind of chain of 3D softwares, but you can do that in Blender if you are strong enough in Blender. Then in Blender, you will have to get rid of this cube and pretty much you will have to import obj from that folder where you make your export from this studio so we're choosing assets obj import while it's loading i will explain something just make sure ah, there is loaded already just make sure that you do in the das studio all the simulations of your clothes or hair or everything then free simulation and keep it as it is so uh, when you entered you see I entered in the wrong position. You can change it right here when you click on each object. You have here rotation. You just click on it and press zero enter. So that's one thing. Another thing here in materials, I think here normals auto smooth. Usually I check that out uh, because so for example, right now, if I go to my environment like that to see it real life, let's call it that way. So it looks a little bit dark-ish. Then when we remove auto smooth, it applies the normal colors of the actual model. So that's all what you need to do about the actual import from DAS to Blender. So I have already file prepared where I made some setups. So let's just open it. Okay, so from collection, you will going to create props and in this folder, you will have your props. Let's call it that way, yeah? So I have in props another three collections, which calls hair, dress, and jewels. Uh, by the way, to install the FZ randomizer, you just go to edit preferences, add-ons, and you click here, install, and you will install this file, click install add-on, and then here, you will have to tick if it won't be ticked the actual check mark and then your randomizer will be installed so then from the folder uh, i call it folders from collection you will have to drag and drop hair in hair dresses in dresses and jewels in jewels yeah when you're done with this it should be looking something like that you can rename your props let's say i have blonde hair ginger pink wet hair yeah now we are getting close to the actual magic when you click 
let's say on the blonde hair here in object data properties you will find fz randomizer here in the host it has to be the collection where are your let's call it objects for randomizing so my folder my collection calls props and here it also calls props it should be exactly the same if it's all capital should be all capital here then here we have a check mark that says unique if you have it unchecked you will have same copies in the collection if you have unique there will be no other picture except the actual unique picture the rest leave it as it is so now we are on the blonde hair we can choose how many lottery tickets we're going to have for the blonde hair so let's say for the blonde hair i want 11 tickets that will be six percent chance on ginger we have 110 tickets that will be 62 percent chance pink hair 36 tickets wet hair 19 tickets let's make it less so that it will be like let's say two percent two percent chance okay so wet hair will be our most rare and here you can see rarity four out of 161 then we go the same with the dress so long dress will be almost 41 percent pink dress 24 percent red dress let's make it very rare let's say three percent chance and then white dress 11 percent chance yeah okay then we go to jewels and we can set up for our bracelets chain whatever you have you can have here 40,000 folders then you can have unlimited uh, variations yeah okay so now we can calculate possibilities it's 48 total pictures i can make out of these three collections you can add more hair then you can have more hair possibilities more dress more and then it's just gonna be like by adding one unit you actually increasing it extremely already so you can have in a props one more uh, collection which will call background and then you can have either different pictures on the background either just different colors so for example as here i had the pictures of kind of stock market whatever and they all different as you can see some of them are really rare some of them are way too obvious let's say this pink background is extremely rare and that's why the price is slightly higher okay so we can close the studio so that we don't use system resources come back to our blender okay now we go to camera if you want to reposition your camera here camera lock and whenever you will rotate your screen this way you will adjust where the camera will look okay this hem i don't i don't think we need it okay so now we have all this all that and we're ready to roll yeah you just have to be on the actual object to continue like uh, select something it so then write to csv and this will be your data sheet so i have variant data csv that that will tell us the rarity and the rest we will get to that later okay then variants let's say i want 48 variants and possibilities that's exactly how much we can make okay so let's click generate now we have our generated tab we can unclick props just like that and there you go we have generated 48 pictures that are completely unique so you can see here is a blonde hair bracelet pink dress ginger then something changes and then the red dress this the red dress is very rare kind of if you think that your dresses are way too often then you increase the white dress let's say you increase some other dress and the red dress will appear even less and less and less so now when we've generated all of these pictures you can set up your render so let's say 200 samples and so on uh, with the noiser uh, here you can change your resolution so for sake of tutorial i made 500 pixels in this collection i have 1000 pixels and almost 500 samples but still looks a little bit cartoonish and pretty much we're ready to render so we're going to render render animation i've rendered already 
and you're going to receive uh, 48 pictures that don't repeat each other. So let's have a look. So as you can see, here is just the necklace difference. They look the same, but the no, no, the necklaces are different. So let's say you think, oh, I think I've seen this picture, oh, but we can check. Oh no, this was ginger. This was with a different necklace. This is with the bracelet. This is with the necklace. So that's pretty much how it works. The more props you have, the more variations you can get. I will leave all the links in description and I also will leave the link for my collection. Uh, by the way, our data sheet will look like this. Sorry, I don't have Excel. I have some trio office, which is free. And that's uh, your data sheet. So variant A, pink hair. This I don't think you will need. And that's how many tickets, hair total, odds and everything. So yeah, you can make one more column and uh, calculate the total rarity for, let's say, the actual variant one. Um, yeah you can work with this as you want so as you can see the more tickets we have the more random the things will appear so let's say in dress tickets we have total of 28 that's why red dress is kind of appearing quite often but all of this is unique there is nothing i mean variant 39 definitely cannot be as variant 26 and so on so you're getting pictures and you're getting your data sheet Thank you for watching, please share your collections in comments and maybe this will be the perfect place to start your marketing journey. Uh, please like the video, if you have uh, questions please ask them in the comments below and if you want step by step tutorial then also let me know. Thank you and have a great modeling.